Welcome to our channel, my dear students. Today we are going to talk about the important mechanism of aldol condensation. So when the word itself, the aldol, 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 that is the aldehydes and alcoholic functional group is there. So aldehyde with alcohol, that's what it will be called as aldol. So here condensation, what is the meaning of condensation? During that uh, condensation, it will be eliminating a small molecules. It eliminates the small molecule. That's what is a condensation reaction. So here, in general, the carbonyl compounds like aldehydes and ketones are generally involving in aldol condensation reaction. So all the aldehydes and ketones that doesn't involve this kind of reaction, the aldehydes and ketones with alpha hydrogen that only undergoes aldol condensation mechanism, aldol condensation reaction. Everybody understand? The first very most condition is it should have alpha hydrogen. Without alpha hydrogen, there is no aldol condensation will take place. Okay, the main condition is to take place aldol condensation the molecules involving in the reaction, any one of the reaction, any one of the reactant should have alpha hydrogen. Okay, that molecules only involving aldol condensation. Suppose if I am taking two molecules of CH3, C double band OH. So I will be taking two molecules of acetaldehyde or ethanol. That will be reacting in presence of a dilute base, dilute NaOH. What I'll be getting a product? So I'll be getting a product beta hydroxy aldehyde. So beta hydroxy that is CH3 C C C double band O H is there. Okay. In beta position, this is a functional group. This is our functional group. This is alpha carbon. This is beta carbon. In beta position, I have OH group. Okay, so now we can let us satisfy the conditions with uh, hydrogen. That is the CH2. Am I right? So here also CH. Okay, are able to understand students? It is very very simple mechanism. Just we are going to understand the behind concept in it. So then we will be writing the mechanism very clearly. So now our first reactant that is reactant CH3 C double band OH. Why this will be taking as a reactant for aldol condensation? Because the first condition is should satisfy, it should have alpha hydrogen. It should have alpha hydrogen. What is the functional group here? So here CHO is a functional group. Okay, this is a alpha carbon. Alpha carbon having three number of hydrogen. That is what it has alpha hydrogen molecule. These alpha hydrogen molecules will involving in aldol condensation. Now let's write the reaction. So initially, which will be reacting with OH minus. Why? Because it acts as a base here. So base. Okay. So say sodium hydroxide is a base. So which will be going? In generally, as we know that, so in organic chemistry, nucleophile, okay, always attacks carbon. Nucleophile always attacks carbon in organic chemistry at the same time base always attacks hydrogen okay are able to understand student based on that simple trick we can able to find out the which type of reaction will be taking place whether it is a nucleophilic substitution or it's an elimination reaction okay now let's consider this base this base will always attacks the hydrogen which is present in the carbon that is the alpha hydrogen now i am going to write the reactant like this so here i am going to write the reactant that is ch2 one more hydrogen i will be writing ch3 i will be written as ch2h so here c double band o h i will be taking okay and the thing is i will be using a base what is the base oh minus this base According to our concept, base will always attack hydrogen in organic chemistry. Like the base will pick up this hydrogen. The base will pick up this hydrogen. That's what it eliminate water as a molecule. Water molecule is getting eliminated. So here this bond is getting broken. So it leaves as H plus. It leaves its charge negative. Okay. So likewise, I'll be getting CH2 minus C double band O H. Now I'll be getting enolate form. 
Now this will be acting as in second step CH2 minus this will be reacting with CH2 minus CH2. Oh. Okay, I'll be taking that will be reacting with another molecule that is a second molecule of aldehyde what I am taken because I have taken two molecules here one molecule first molecule is getting react with base it eliminates it undergoes elimination reaction with the elimination of small water molecules by that way it forms a nucleophile this nucleophile will always attack carbon are you able to understand nucleophile will always attack carbon that is what it form a product like this that is CH3 I am writing this CH3 CO minus is there and one more hydrogen is there the coming incoming group that is CH2 CH2 C double band O H is there okay if I am acidified if I am acidified so I will be getting a product what type of product I will be getting so it is a very very simple product that is CH3 CH so here it is OH so here it is one more CH2 is there one C double band OH is there this is nothing but beta hydroxy product of aldehyde are you able to understand student this is what I will be getting a getting as a product this is what I will be getting a product here this is nothing but beta hydroxy this is a functional group this is the entire functional group this is alpha carbon this is beta carbon this is beta hydroxy butanol and be getting are you able to understand so the very important trick is uh, here one more trick is there they may be asking the question like this you just convert acetaldehyde to beta hydroxy ethanol sorry butanol they will be asking so in that we have to see how many number of reactants are there here number of reactants are four that's what we have to go for aldal condensation mechanism because it should as it should have alpha hydrogen once it has alpha hydrogen that the double the product will be getting two carbon here four carbon that is a four beta hydroxy butanol i'll be getting are you able to understand students suppose in this case different aldehydes are getting reacted okay so here the same aldehyde here here it is the same molecule of aldehyde same two molecules will be reacting suppose in that case uh, different aldehydes may react at the time I'll be getting cross aldol condensation so different aldehydes say for example if I'm taking CH3 C double band O H okay so one more have aldehyde CH3 C H2 C double band O H is there these two may react in presence of a dilute base like a sodium hydroxide I'll be getting four different products four different products different products okay are you able to understand students so four different products in this case both should have alpha hydrogen both should have alpha hydrogen that time i'll be getting four different products that will be discussed in another video are you able to understand students here i think so you understand well about the aldal condensation so here uh, in the first step the base will act it will act as a base this base will attack always a hydrogen that picks the hydrogen beta alpha hydrogen that alpha hydrogen will be acidic here because it is a electron withdrawing group that electron withdrawing group because of that nature this will be acting as a acidic in nature this is hatching acidic this basic both can react to form water as a product neutral product along with that one nucleophile is getting formed here this formed nucleophile now we should be able to react with the another molecule of this another molecule of second molecule that time it will be acting as a nucleophile the nucleophile will attack always the carbon according to concept so always attacks the carbon that's what here i'll be getting this product so if you acidify this i'll be getting beta hydroxy butanol as a product are you able to understand students so thank you so much for watching please go forward to others to get benefit and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. Thank you once again. Thank you one and all. Thank you for learning. Share and like this video.